Well, day four in the final day of the RNC Republican National Convention. And Republican presidential nominee Donald Tr Trump is speaking tonight, as you all know. So J John Hook is live in Cleveland, Ohio, live from the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. <laughs> Love to say that in the Rock and Roll City with more on the convention. Hi, John. You Hey, you guys, Rick, you sound like Johnny Holiday. I love it. <laughs> hey, uh, we're going to take a break from politics in the, you know, just absolute sense. Show you some things about how rock and roll has influenced um, politics over the years. Bill Clinton, the saxophone, oh. Arsenio Hall. Oh. Yeah, this is kind of where it all started when you think about it. Um, kind of the, uh, the pop culture of politics. This may have been a moment that really defined it. Mm -hmm. He played it on the Arsenio Hall show in 1992 and secured his party's nomination a day later. So it didn't hurt. Let me take you over here. We talk about all the modern uh, rock concerts and benefit concerts. You think of Live Aid. This was really the first. This is Eric Clapton's guitar that he played on stage alongside George Harrison for the concert for Bangladesh, oh, August yeah. 1st, 1971. Wow. And Remember. there's Clapton playing that very guitar that you see right there, and that is a beauty. That Gibson hollow body, mm -hmm. wow. Beautiful, <laughs> beautiful guitar, and as a guitar player, I love it. Oh, yeah. This is the creme de la creme. Jimi Hendrix playing the national anthem at Woodstock. <gasps> wow. August 18th, 1969, at nine in the morning, Bono talking about how it was an incredible exorcism. And here's the guitar wow, in all its yeah, glory. Yeah. And of course, strung upside down because Hendrix was a lefty. So the low E string on the top there, which would be the bottom for a right hander. So it's flipped around the, the thick one. And Hendrix, just a masterful yeah. performance. And in fact, if we get a clip of it, we may see a little bit of it here. This is Hendrix in the background on the Dick Cavett show. Wow. Hendrix was such a thoughtful guy, such a thoughtful guy and served in the Airborne. So he's a guy who, uh, who knew this country from many, many different angles. Wow. We'll see if we get a little clip of him playing. And there's the uh, exhibit, Louder Than Words. Very cool. I didn't know he But I, Hendrix playing that guitar, I'll in, tell you. I didn't realize he was in the 101st Airborne. I never knew that. That's exactly right. He was. Yeah. yeah. And even Dick Cabot mentions it on the show. He says, listen, yeah. uh, you know, if you have cards and letters for Hendrix and you don't like the way he played the anthem, you better also thank him for his service to the country. Wow. So Hendrix <laughs> Strat, that's a beautiful guitar. All right, we're going to roll upstairs here. I'm okay. going to make this quick because I know you guys are on a tight time frame. But if you can't come to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in Cleveland, <laughs> yeah. we're going to take you there right there this morning. And why not? Take a little break from politics for a minute. John Netzel, you okay? <laughs> He's navigating the stairs up here to the fourth floor. John and marathons. He's okay. He can handle this. Uh, <laughs> oh, he is a grinder, that guy. Okay, uh, Rick, this is for you. This is the actual Hall of Fame right here. I know you're an Elvis fan. <gasps> right. Okay. Oh. Elvis's Army uniform. Wow. Uh, yeah. 1958. Uh -huh. That is the genuine article. That's what Presley wore when that he was uh, shipped off to Germany wow. in 1958. Isn't that something? I'm going to get into a couple of things here that uh, that are really, really cool. This place is hot. Oh, Bob right Dylan. Now. Yeah. Harmonica. Sure. On the oh, times they are yeah. changing. Oh yeah. Yep. And uh, he played that, and there's the lyric sheet as well. Isn't that something? <laughs> In his handwriting. Out like that. And the scratches. Yeah, you, you see that. This stuff doesn't just happen by accident. There's some hard work and elbow grease that goes into this oh, yeah. stuff. Take yeah. a look at that. Okay. Are you ready for this? Yes. Mm -hmm. This may be my favorite. Pardon me, guys. How are you? <laughs> John Lennon's guitar. No way. This is the guitar John Lennon played Revolution. Oh, uh, yeah. He did play it on the Revolver album as well. It looked different. And then he stripped all the finish off it, which in my view, being a Beatles nut, Mm -hmm. I think Lennon was kind of stripping down some of the veneer of the Beatles, he, and, and it was a metaphor. Yeah. He stripped that guitar down to its natural finish, played it on Revolution, the song Revolution, and it was also the last guitar he played with the Beatles live on the rooftop of Apple Studios in 1969. Their last live performance, Lennon is playing that guitar. Pretty cool. All right, we're going to take you back here for a couple more. <laughs> okay. What else did we want to see? Do you have a minute? Yeah, I do. I this don't know is, about our producers okay. in the booth, but I got, we all, got, all, day. I got all more John than John Lennon's here. guitar. Oh, yeah. John Lennon's guitar that he played Give Peace a Chance. Oh, wow. On the bed-in for peace. 
with Yoko Ono at his side. Uh -huh. And wow, that's Tommy Smothers there with him, and Dick Smothers oh, is yeah. in there somewhere too. Yeah. Is, is oh, this, and Timothy is Leary is there too. Is this a special Beatles wow. exhibit that's a, a temporary exhibit, or is this permanently part of the Hall of Fame? Do you know? Uh, is this permanently part of the Hall of Fame? Yeah, it's ours. We own that. Yeah, they own it. Oh, they okay. own it. Wow. Okay. This was a flag that was flying over Kent State right. the day of the shootings right. on April 30th. Right. Um, okay. Or May 4th, pardon me. I was there. I mean, not 1970. there, but I was in, in northern, northeast Ohio. Wow. In radio. News. And here's the lyric sheet for uh, here's the lyric sheet for Crosby, Stills, Nash and Young, the song Ohio. Ohio. There you yeah. go. That's the lyric sheet. Okay. Wow. So guys, I wanted Johnny. to show you a little bit of this because Thank we you. are in the political season. Yeah. But I, for you know, people who can't get here, we wanted to take you there. Yeah, I got to I got to throw this in here. Uh, you know, you you mentioned Johnny Holiday. The last time I was there, <laughs> there's a recording of Johnny Holiday in uh, in one of the exhibits there. It's because, yeah. No kidding. Yeah, it's because of the disc He's jockey. your idol. Yeah, the, the disc <laughs> jockeys in Cleveland uh, are responsible, partly responsible for the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame being there to begin with, for being the Rock and Roll City. Yeah. Right. Yeah, you can listen to Johnny you Holiday know what? I, I'm going to do that, Rick, okay. right now. <laughs> After I get through with the Beatles stuff, I'm okay. going right to Johnny okay. Holiday. <laughs> <laughs> okay, John. Enjoy. <laughs> Talk Thank to you, tomorrow. Thank you, guys. Thanks, John. <laughs>